Hello everyone, my name is Ian McGuire. I'm from Palm Island on the northeast coast of Townsville. Where I come from, it's surrounded by the Great Barrier Reef. Um, growing up, I've had the experience and opportunity to fall in love with the ocean from as far back as I can remember as a little kid. Uh, my family background, my culture, um, I'm both Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander. And then obviously we come from Palm Island as well. Um, Palm Island is made up of 40 different tribal groups from throughout Australia. Um, there was a settlement back, back in the 1900s. Um, everyone was moved and shipped to Palm on a settlement and they've sort of grew up around each other. And that's where the tribal name Boogerman comes under. Boogerman means for, uh, many cultures, one tribe, so. Growing up on an island, um, there was nothing else to do but be in the water. Um, the ocean, we're surrounded by water, so if we weren't doing anything on land, hunting, um, school, uh, hanging out with friends, family, we were in the ocean. And something that I grew up loving, love being in it, uh, love living from it. Uh, some of my favourite times is being underwater. Um, I do a lot of spear fishing, grow up doing it. Different the two worlds are being out of the water and underwater. It's... I was also very um, excited hearing from Reef Ecologic um, to get the role as an Indigenous project officer. In a short time already, I've learned a fair bit about science. They're a very good, great team. Um, they come from all different areas of looking after the reefs. So one of the cool things we've been doing, um, I just recently finished my open water course with Adrenaline Dive. Paul, who's a really great instructor, has years of experience. He, he is very cool to work with. We've done days of theory and pool work as well. I was a, I'm a spear fisherman, I free dive a lot. It was just a great and different experience to be underwater and just chill. We went to John Brewer Reef and we've seen the first um, museum of underwater art. It was a great experience diving in and around it, swam, swam through it, um, seen a different marine life. Um, that's evolving very quickly. Um, and then obviously meeting people that travel come from a fair way to explore what we have in our backyard. Also I've done a Reef Check Ambassador course. It was pretty awesome to be a part of, learning from people that you know have a bit more experience in um, looking after the reef and um, gaining experience in a new area as well. Um, reef Ecologic have um, blessed me with that position as an Indigenous Project Officer. We've learned awesome, awesome water skills. Um, obviously the diving was pretty much the highlight of it. Um, it was such a pretty good experience and boat license as well. But we've also done a lot of behind the scenes work as well. Um, I've learned how to apply for grants, um, learning reef health and coral gardening as well. All the media and online stuff that um, we do here at Reef Ecology is something I'm getting used to. I think it's really important that I learn as much as I can to help look after our reef around Palm and then also the Great Barrier Reef as well. I have my open water certificate now, but obviously I want to get to higher ranks as well. So firstly, I'll have to get my advanced and rescue, then my dive masters, and then top would be dive instructors. And I would like that, those certificates so that I could teach my knowledge and what I've learned to more Indigenous people or people from Palm. And part of me learning from other people, but I'd also like to teach more on the culture side and combining with Western science as well. By combining knowledge, we can work together to help conserve our ancestors have a rich cultural connection dating back through history where they've lived from both land and sea. I think it is important for this generation and future generations to 
learn and keep this knowledge going so that it may never be lost. I'd do anything that I can to help look after our coral reefs, our Great Barrier Reef. Um, it's something that ties to Indigenous people culturally, not just me, but for any Indigenous Australians. Um, it's something that our ancestors have been living off, living from and around for years and years and years. So I think, me personally, I'd do anything that I can to help keep that culture going and connection as well.